The Library Ghost Live webcast is presented by the House of Lecter and the Old Courthouse Catacombs. The CourierPress.com team recently visited the Old Courthouse Catacombs, where we heard firsthand about the historic building's dark past. Accidental deaths and even cold-blooded murder have all taken place on the grounds of the old courthouse. The cases are unsolved. Are the spirits unrested? Real ghost stories from the catacombs would indicate that the answer is yes. Yeah, matter of fact, we are, uh, we're here on the west end of the old courthouse in the sub-basement down in the depths of the catacombs right now. And we're standing in the very spot where uh, Clairvoyant, Lou Wright, and uh, the Indiana Ghost Trackers came in and found um, conclusive evidence to document paranormal activity right here in the courthouse, right behind me. And peek over our shoulder a little bit, don't know if you can see down in through there or not, but that is the old tunnel to the old jail. Why they got cold spots here and recognize this as a haunted area without even knowing where they were before we showed them the door is that prisoners from the, um, the jail, the old jail, were brought across there for their day in court right here in the courthouse for many years, all the way from 1888 all the way up to 1967 when the jail, the old courthouse closed. They'd bring their prisoners across here for their day in court in the courtroom upstairs. And I talked to some of the jailers back when we first started here in 1990. And um, they, they had stories about guys that were being brought over uh, for different crimes for their day in court upstairs. And um, stories where some of the guys never made it, never made it to their day in court. and. Who knows what happened to those guys, you know? Maybe they shouldn't have had their day in court. Some people say that they're still loose, they hear noises uh, down here throughout this, this vast interlocking chamber of um, catacombs down here in the sub-basement of the old courthouse. Some of them, they say that never made it, uh, may have been killed and buried down here and their ghosts remain. Whatever the situation, we do know that, that the Indiana ghost trackers, with all their instruments and Lou Wright, um, the clairvoyant uh, determined that this building is paranormal. And uh, there's a lot of documented history in your paper, the, uh, the Evansville Courier, uh, as well as stories online that we've, we've put in, that we've dug up about the building. There's just unusual paranormal activity. Adolph Rice and Lewis Heck that fell to their death, fell off the top of the bell tower and hit on one of these lower levels, which is still about 70 feet off the ground and rolled off and landed and died in an area that would be just beyond the wall behind where you're standing on the outside grounds out there. And, um, you know, things like that. How would something like that happen? How do you account for that when you, you look at the old authentic newspaper articles and somebody fell off the top of the courthouse on Halloween night at midnight in the year 1900?